Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Alden LaCroix. Welcome back. The cloudy, cool days are done for now. We still have the cold nights, but the afternoons are just going to be getting warmer and warmer over the next several afternoons. 78 degrees for both Eugene and Corvallis right now. Very close to 80 degrees up towards Roseburg and 63 out toward the Oregon coast. Uh, but here was the view from last night. Again, this viewer sent in this gorgeous image of the full moon. I know it was about 99% full last night, but you can actually see Saturn right above this uh, impressive shot taken here in Eugene. Now you will likely be able to see it once again tonight. We do have some kind of high level clouds streaming over the region, but it's not going to impact the weather at all. We actually had a very, very weak cold front that passed over the region earlier today. You probably noticed around lunchtime some high clouds streaming in, and this is what is left of it. You can see the actual low pressure system is well to the north up into portions of central Canada. You can see that's the trailing cold front extending across parts of Montana and here across our neck of the woods, and that is the culprit for the chillier night tonight. We are going to be dipping down into the mid 40s across much of the region, but thanks to this high pressure offshore, we're going to swing things back up into the 70s for the day tomorrow, and that high pressure is going to be locked in place all the way through the first half of next week. 47 overnight tonight in Eugene, mid 40s up toward Blue River and Oak Ridge, 50 degrees down toward Roseburg, but some of you out toward the coast and the Umqua Basin will likely be in the upper 40s uh, tomorrow morning. Now for tomorrow afternoon, about 73 degrees, mainly sunny skies, and you can see up into the foothills about 75, so a little bit cooler than what we had today, and that's also thanks to that passing cold front. But clear skies is going to be the name of the game all the way through the next really 48 hours. You can see the progression of some high clouds streaming in over the region on Friday. But for the most part, uh, this light gray in nature is indicative of high clouds not really impacting the temperature. And you can see uh, by tomorrow afternoon, we are back up into the low 70s, passing clouds high in nature, not really impacting weather whatsoever. Now, what is going to impact uh, for most of you toward the Oregon coast as it already has today is some gusty winds. We've had at times gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour and we'll likely see that return tomorrow. You can see sustained winds around 20 to 25 for you folks up towards Newport and another breezy afternoon here across the Willamette Valley as we're starting to see that kick up right now. And the reason why we're getting these winds is we're starting the warming trend. You can see already back up to 81 on Monday. We peak at 86 on Tuesday. Then we significantly cool things back down. So whether you call it this faux summer, a uh, Indian summer, whatever it is, we are talking about a brief period of warming temperatures, and that is very typical for this time of year. You can see the mild weather remains. Heat builds on Tuesday, and then watch this cold pocket of air start to develop, but that is not going to be until the very end of September. So if you're a summer lover, we have some very mild summer-like conditions expected all the way through next week. We are tracking a bit of a pattern change by next Thursday. Thursday and you can see a slight shower chance for the Oregon coast Thursday morning for the Roseburg area about 75 on Friday up to the mid 80s both Sunday and Monday 90 degrees toward next Tuesday for the Cascades 60 degrees tomorrow afternoon mainly sunny skies into the weekend 68 possibly afternoon shower toward next Thursday and you can see that for Eugene and Corvallis as well 73 on Friday we are back up to 86 gen on Tuesday and then cooling things off next weekend. All right, thanks, Holden.